Hi everyone, welcome to Provisual Tutorials. In this video, I'll show you how you can easily set up and showcase your design using ProVisual and 3D models. Let's navigate to the 3D model section and select an object for our tutorial. The library contains a great variety of high quality 3D models and it is updated weekly. In this tutorial, we will learn how to customize a 3D model of the basketball shorts. Let's select the 3D model from the vast Provisual library. I think this 3D model looks really beautiful and photorealistic too. Let's create a new project. This is how our default model looks like. Let's zoom it in to be able to make our adjustments with more precision. Just look how detailed the fabric and stitching are. This is just unbelievable. Let's start with the part called the waistband outer side part. Let's apply a new color to this material. You can either select or customize the color using the color palette or by entering the color code manually. Like this. Let's copy this material and apply it to the top of the inner side part of the waistband. Let's turn the model a little for more visibility and add stripes to the shorts. We will also apply this material to the panel in between. Now let's move to the front panel and change the color of the material. Great. Next, let's copy the material settings and apply them to the back panel. Now let's set up the inner side. We will make a tiny enhancement and then we'll change the color. Let's zoom the model in a little and change the color of the seams. Now we will configure the front label. We will only change the color of the material. Let's set up the inner label. We will also change the color of the material. Done. We have adjusted the materials of our 3D model basketball shorts. Now it's time to add our design. We start with the front panel. To add the design, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. You can also download a UV map and create your design in another editor. I've already prepared some images for our basketball shorts. Let's add the first design element. In the opened window, we see the editor where we can move and modify our design. Let's rotate our design element and place the design following the UV map. Now let's add a new design element. To do this, click on the Add Image button. We'll also place our design based on the UV map. Now let's add a design to the front label. Excellent. Save the design. Then adding the design to the inner label. Again, click on the Add Design button on the Design Layers panel. Place the design following the UV map and save our design. Let's move on to the front panel and add more individuality to our design, make it look more realistically. Select the layer with our design so that it becomes active. Now let's add dimension to our design using our bevel feature.
looks amazing. Our design looks so good on this basketball shorts. Let's see what types of pre-made backgrounds we have available. We can choose a solid fill as the background, or we can go for a gradient fill. Here, we can select the desired colors and also set the direction of the fill, linear or radial. You can also pick one of the pre-designed backgrounds that we've prepared for you. Or add your own image. Let's add one. Excellent. You can enable moving lights to see how the light interacts with the shape and the surface of the 3D model. You can also rotate the 3D model to see how the design looks in motion. Saving our project. After you've completed your design, you can share it by clicking the share button. You'll get a shareable link to open the interactive viewer with your 3D model. Share it with colleagues, friends, or clients. And that's the end of our tutorial on creating a basketball shorts design. We hope this has been helpful for you. See you in the upcoming tutorials.